Helvetia covers the short but disastrous uh, Swiss Burgundian Wars of the mid 1470s, which are contemporary with the uh, Wars of the Roses, so we don't have too many new troop types in there, with the possible exception of crossbowmen in companies rather than uh, operating in, um, in as skirmishers. Um, so we have the Swiss, we have the Burgundian leaders with their cross of. Uh, St Andrew, is it St Andrew? A no, ragged cross and the Swiss uh, Confederation cross, um, probably a bit later than uh, this period, but you know, everybody recognises that for Swiss. So you have two opposing military systems here. You have the, the Burgundian army, which is a, a thoroughly modern all arms force with the finest mercenaries money could buy, uh, dressed, dressed gorgeously and paid regularly. And you have uh, the Swiss Confederation, which consists of thousands and thousands and thousands of uh, um, volunteer um, pikemen and halberdiers. And uh, it's a sort of brute force and ignorance uh, school of tactics. They come sweeping down off the mountains in huge numbers and uh, regularly sweep aside these gorgeous but uh, not particularly effective Burgundians. Bad idea for Charles to pick a fight with the Swiss. He would have been probably been okay against anybody else. So as far as the rules go, I've had to tone the Swiss down quite a lot because they were never beaten. In fact, they were never routed ever. You cannot rout the Swiss. They die to. They either retreat grudgingly, or they die to a man. Uh, and if I'd gone ahead with my original plans for the Swiss, they would have been utterly unbeatable. So I've had to sort of fudge it slightly to give give some advantages to the Burgundians, not too many. Uh, but the big difference is we have two different command systems. The, the, the Burgundians are a traditional late medieval army. They have um, led by noblemen and uh, they do what the noblemen tell them. The Swiss, on the other hand, uh, make up their mind what they're going to do the day before the battle and then just carry it out. They don't have individual leaders as such, so they're not bothered about seeing leaders killed. They don't have to be inspired by leaders because they know what they've got to do. Um, so you'd have two opposing military systems and uh, the challenge here was to come up with something that's a bit more balanced than the real thing. I won't say it's entirely balanced. If you win with the Burgundian army against the Swiss you will be doing very well indeed. Uh, the scenario here covers the Battle of Ericourt in 1474 where the Swiss and their Rhenish allies besieged a small Burgundian town in an attempt to uh, divert attention away from their main action going on some 300 miles away on the, on the Rhine. There are three new uh, event cards for this theatre, including one called Coming Round the Mountain, which will bring in reinforcements for the army that draws it. This will also allow the Swiss, who use rules for flanking forces, to bring that in if it hasn't yet arrived.